No? Yeah. Three weeks ago, I was finally told I can go to DevOps. The tickets were sold out. I sent a message to Ernest and say, how can I get a ticket? He said, well, we're a little short on Ignite Talks, to which I replied, what's an Ignite Talk? So I'm here. We're not going to control when it goes, but I want to control when we start. So I want you to give uh, a, a cue to Mr. Computer Man on the countdown of three. On the count of three, I want the audience to say DevOps. Can you do that? All right. Three, two, one. DevOps. Thank you. My name is, whoa, we're not starting the first slide, are we? That's not the first slide. I, could you go back to the beginning? Because the cue was, I was told to say, give a cue. First slide, please. OK. Thank you. My name is Adam Levitt, and I'm happy to be here. If you are in the internal IT team, say aye. Aye. Well, I'm here to talk about the disconnect between internal IT and business. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't cohesion between the two, or I'm not saying that there isn't dysfunction elsewhere. What I'm saying is, in my experience, I've seen enough strife to know that it could be better. Healthcare, healthcare, restaurants, military, sports. These are industries that have been around for millennia. So it's no wonder their customers know exactly what to expect with the roles and responsibilities between customer and provider. In sync, in sync between internal IT and business, it can happen. Even though in IT hasn't been around but mere decades, we can achieve in sync with a lot of work in collaboration. Internal IT has many inherent challenges. The number of tasks that typically, this is, I'm sorry, this is not my last presentation. This is, this is completely, yeah, I had uh, Adam Levitt, that was my last. It says Adam Levitt, oh, oh well. Run with it, yeah, run with it. So furthermore, the combinations of service deliveries are very confusing. Take server builds, for example. The combinations are endless. Um, but inconsistency can happen. Inconsistency breeds frustration. Likewise, training isn't emphasized nearly enough in IT. <laughs> Continuing education should be an integral part of a profession that supports just about every other profession. Purpose can get lost in translation. By the time our beloved Geek Squad takes over, uh, purpose is lost. Now, internal pro uh, professionals, our IT professionals, are knowledge-based workers, and we like meaning in our work. Restaurants, they have a well-understood service offerings. For example, you order a hamburger, you know what you're going to get, when you get it, and what it's going to taste like. Manufacturing gave us the assembly line, which led to consistency and a reduction in human error. Much of IT is repetitive. So if it isn't standardized, there's a higher risk of human error and angry customers. Emphasizing on continuing education is a pillar of other industries. Medical practitioners, for example, they've got to keep up with trends. They've got to recertify to maintain their license. Purpose and meaning are deeply rooted in many industries. It's hard to compare software upgrades to saving people, defending the home gland, but despite software upgrades, enhance those capabilities to protect and defend. So what's next? How do we fix it? I propose a customer harming recipe with four simple ingredients. And those ingredients are, number one, service offerings. Number two, value stream maps. Number three, standardized tasks. And number four, purpose. Four simple elements to implement and should not require a cultural overhaul. The first ingredient, service offerings, it must come upon agreed upon contract that accurately outlines 
the roles and responsibility of requester and implementer. The second ingredient, value stream maps. It's a tool used in lean manufacturing, but I have found it to be a very valuable visual aid to help customers manage expectations. The third is standardized tasks. The Army is masterful at this. With almost 200 job descriptions, every single task is standardized, constructed the same way. This is an example of a real task to take care of leftover food. The last ingredient is purpose. If, pr if business doesn't give it, IT should take the initiative and weave it into the intake process. Perf purpose gives roots to desire and reason, and those are components of excellence. In closing, I hope the takeaway is internal IT should recognize the value in striving towards customer solidarity. And who knows, maybe a business will take you out for burgers. <laughs>